Hi, it's Wasabi. Welcome back to the channel. Today's battle's on the Ruinberg map, and we've got Mage from NWA Clan. Nikki. He's in the LT-432 this time, the Tier 8 uh, Soviet light tank. Uh, one of the best light tanks at this tier. It's almost like a medium tank, but it's got a lot of light tank properties, of course. So, it's good spotting. Decent gun. High rate of fire. Side shots on this section by one, he hasn't bothered to turn yet. Okay, now he's turning. Now he's got his uh, lower front plate open. So, I'm just, just pumping shots into him. He's taken a couple of shots now. Um, you can see how low the profile is and uh, how pancake the uh, turret is, so quite difficult to shoot at the turret. Of course, you can, you can shoot down on the roof and you can penetrate. This is a pretty important position to hold if you can. It stops the enemy tanks from basically creeping up to the bushes and shooting them back down. It's a position where the Indian Panzer was spotted, um, which basically has a bit of a hold down position as well. But uh, if that Indian gets spotted, he's going to be a, a bit of a target. So he gets spotted again as he fired, which clearly there's someone in that bush there. It's uh, definitely worth putting some blind shots in. And there he goes. Uh, one, two, four, three, two on the other side. So there's the turret on that uh, M46 Korean. But uh, he's mostly behind the cover, so not much of a target there. Alright, so we'll see how long he holds this position. It's, um, this Indian Panther just the top of the turret and he managed to go through it, so that is what he's looking for. And we'll try and keep the Indian further away. He's obviously getting spotted at this point. And just keeps putting more shots in, so just get again, just in the tops of the turrets of these tanks here. There's the Indian Panzer again and put another shot in, so a couple more shots and then the Indian Panzer's gone. T432 is still full health. Can you get a shot on him? No, not quite. Again, see much lower profile than the Indian Panzer. Same applies to Mage, of course. Yeah, it's just the top of his turret sticking out from this um, heap of dirt. There's an ML2 there, potentially, that he can shoot at. Yeah, the ML2, obviously, trying to line up Mage. But now he's got the side of the Indian Panzer again and takes him out of the game. So, good result there. Manages again to get the side of the ML2 and the ML2 going, whoops, am I doing the right thing here? And it gets him tracked. But uh, he manages to repair and pull back, at least he's used his repair kit. So if he comes out again, uh, anyway. So there you go, LT432 is taken up that position where the Indian Panzer used to be. Fairly predictable, but um, certainly by Mage holding this position, I mean, you go the, the LT432 is pulled back. ML2, he goes for the track shot of course on the ML2, this is what he's trying to do, keep the position, which it looks like he's done, and now he's at the mercy of the mage, and he gets sent back to the garage, there's the LT432, can he get a shot in, or oh, ricochets, and again that's the difficulty of firing back at an LT432, doesn't matter what tank you're in, there you go, bounced off that one, one more shot, so three shots, three hits, None, no damage done, but now he's found T30. And the mage is not lit while he's firing, so maybe just get some shots in and the T4, T30 going down here. Well, taken out by the ML2, but definitely with Major's help. So he's got 2.5k of his own damage, which is pretty impressive, and it's only 1441 of assisted damage, but that's more about the fact that the um, spotting was, you know, on the other side of the slope that. Uh, his team weren't controlling, so not much you can do about that, but uh, certainly making up for that by getting his own damage. Finds that M46KR, we'll take him out here, which he does. And look, this is real whitewash here, 13 nil. Be embarrassing if they lose any tank now with this sort of advantage. 
LT432 goes down. Here's a Char Pachua for his last tank standing. And what can Mage make of this? No, oh, he's got him sort of completely distracted. So puts one shot in, comes around, get it around him before the turret can turn. And get another shot in. No, he bounces that time. Yeah, things in a bit of a rush. Get one more shot. Yes, he does. He gets the kill. And that is the end of the game. Well, that was a pretty rapid fire battle, but uh, you can see the value of a light tank at the end of the game if you can keep most of your hit points. Um, so he's managed to get 2.9k of his own damage and 2.1 of assisted damage, so that gives him just over 5k of combined damage. Managed to get the four kills and the Orlex medal, which meant uh, he's killed at least two tanks or tank destroyers that were at least one tier above him, and of course he was bottom tier there, so that was the ML2 and the Charfature 4. A lot of all the minor medals there, and of course the Ace Tanker Mastery Badge. So team score 1421, that's yep, decent uh, base for Ace Tanker, and uh, yeah, led the team there and experience the next closest one, the 75 who would have been fighting in the uh, city. So pretty much reliant on the city being taken, but uh, the enemy really folded and none of them really did much damage there. The M46 pattern KR being the top damage, in fact, of all the tanks. So yeah, very lackluster performance by the enemy team, but uh, that certainly happens sometimes. Uh, random battles means random selection of players in your team, just matching on tanks and tank types. So, all right, 536 shots, um, good output. Again, it's fast firing gun, 24 hits, 18 penetrations. He fired a mix of ammunition types, so managed to keep his cost down. He had personal reserves and battle payments coming in. So decent income ending in a result of just over 100K of credit um, for the game. So a great result there and a great uh, content so thanks mage for providing that um, if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already please action your personal plan to deliver that we'll have more great content to follow and thanks very much for watching